Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Unreal Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover Ken Burns which is going to be the last category within the crop um, crop feature. So let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro, go into our project and open up your timeline here. We have a clip here that we've been working through. We've We've applied a crop effect to it and we've also applied a trim effect to it before. So we're going to go ahead and open up the inspector pane, the right hand side here, and we're going to go to the crop option here and we're going to completely reset that. That way all changes will be put back to normal. Now going in here, we're going to go to this little drop down menu and we're going to go to Q Ken Burns. And within the actual Ken Burns within uh, the inspector pane, you won't be able to see anything. So what we're going to have to do is go to this little option and then highlight it right next to the hide option. Highlight the ruler crop and now you'll be able to see the Ken Burn Burns. Please note that uh, bottom left hand corner here, it says there's an end and then there's a start. Now clicking on, on the actual uh, footage it will switch between the two. As you can see the entire video is highlighted so we're at the start. Clicking on it again, the only the end is highlighted so this is the end. Now basically this is cropping to a point where you want the clip to zoom in. Now you can also re remove the, you can change this or um, change it around where it starts and it zooms out. For, for example by using this little option here and this switches them for example now you have start at the middle and then you have end and then also you could just simply make one smaller than the other to adjust it. But we're just going to do the basic. We're going to start with the full screen. And I'll actually, wait. Yeah, let's select the full screen here. And then when you're moving them around, if you want them straight on the border, at the very top here, right here, you'll be able to see the coordinates or the where it's at. So moving it around, you'll be able to see where the top is. And then if it's at zero, that means it's hit the border of the video. And it should actually automatically clip onto the border for you, making it easier. So we're starting with the full video, and then we're going to click on the video again. And we're going to go to the end, and we want it to finish zooming in. Let's just zoom in straight into the Final Cup Pro logo. So within, since the clip is only, what is it? The clip's only five seconds long. So within five seconds, it's going to go from full screen of the video, and it's going to go at the end of the five seconds, it's going to be zoomed in on the Final Cut Pro. Logo. This is very good on images, for example, let's say you're going through a bunch of images and you want it to zoom at a certain point, um, this will be a good good feature to use. Let's go ahead and hit play. really didn't mean to have sound in it, but I just wanted to show you guys that Ken Burn is going through the video here and it's zooming in. Within five seconds it will reach our end destination, just like there as shown. But that's the basics of the entire crop tool. Be sure to check out my previous tutorials for if you're trying to learn how to use the crop or how to use the trim. And uh, yeah, that's the basics. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. So let